Hey everyone, I'm Alfred, and welcome back to Mata Nui Online Game. Uh, last time we finished out the uh, Pokoro chapter and uh, solved a pandemic, as a matter of fact. Lawsy. And we're heading back to Gakura because this game has a, a decent amount of, like, backtrackery. Alrighty. Can I give this to you? Give you some indicator that uh, Maku's okay? Or wait. I dashed back here um, off camera just because there was a lot of, you know, wandering. Yeah! Yay team! It is a good day for Coley. Nice. Heard all you've done for our village adventure, and I especially owe you thanks. I'll be fit to return to Koli and Maku. If you see her in her travels, tell her I'm well. Okay, cool. I just wanted to mention this, but this, like, sound, this, like, song really, really reminds me of the, um... Like, one of the default songs in, like, the Spore Creature Creator. Oh man, can I tell you? Can't I give you like a hookie's wishes? All right. Where is our Gataraga? Yeah, that's Maku. I got a. It's the big hut. Here we go. Hello again. How might I help you? Um, oh, can I give you this? Take this book and attend to it and travel to the villages. It'll store all you see. If the Toa fail, Mata is destroyed, this will remain. And the ocean will keep it safe for us. Thank you. Goodbye. Episode book. Oh, is this just all the cutscenes? It is. <laughs> okay, so for whatever reason, when I click on that, it opens a, a, a new tab in Chrome. And it also... I don't know what that does. It opens a, like, um, a system window so I can, like, save it. Let me scooch this down. Let me scooch this down as well. I'm a little uh, uncomfy in my chair. So I keep like shifting around awkwardly. Alright, so we're back in Powahi. It is now actually time to go to Onukoro, which is easily accessible by taking this thing that goes to the mountain. I will ride the crab, thank you very much. You there, fetch those cells. We need more discs. Step to it. Stay out of the way, traveler. We're organizing a patrol. With all the lights out in Onokoro, the Rahi have stepped up their raids. Keep, uh, take care when traveling in the deep mines and tunnels. The Kofuchaki can appear at any time. Battling them takes special skill. Onepu at your service. Captain of the famous Onukorin Koronen Koronen, weird. Usauri Regiment. Champion of Uso Racing and Special Aid of Wanua, our great Taraka. So, um, a lot of the, like, people that show up here are, like, almost treated like main characters. Like, Huki would be, like, a main character Matoran, and he'd be like, wow, the big deal Matoran. And Jaller is, too, and Maku is, and Onepu is, but some of them aren't. Like, uh, Nuparu becomes the most important on Onu Matoran for a while, and Hali becomes the most important Ga Matoran, and, uh... Maku and uh, Onepu kind of get swept to the side a little bit. Kofujaga are small creatures, incredibly fierce and cunning. They attack by surprise and always in large numbers. They shun bright light and use darkness and fear as weapons. 
The nest is scattered through the underworld, and Wobbit the miner who breaks through to one. Breaks through to one. Usually, Onua uses a special drill to detect the nests before they're open, but he's been busy, and the miners have been desperate to find more protodermis veins. How do I battle them? Regiment depends on its gallant steeds and a healthy supply of discs when fighting the Kofu Jaga. Darkness gives the Makuta's minion strength. It's good to have a light sooner with you if you can find one. Well, goodbye. May your crab ride swift and true. Um. Where do I go now? Right. Uh, as this goes, I'm relying on the wiki more and more. But I'm to take that uh, thing that goes from here to Unukoru. Or no, from here to Takoro. This is that Suva that I mentioned earlier. Yeah, see? Hello. Takoro. I can read it now. Hold on. There we go. We're right in there. It's you guys again. I want to get that key off of him. Okay. Now, how does this... Oh my gosh, I just completely realized that I'd totally forgotten to do those. Okay. I'm smart. I might be able to do this. Maybe. Oh, man. Oh, no. Huh. I'm at a loss for these. Okay. Okay. Now what? I did it! I hope everyone is appreciating the ability to see childlike glee on my face for the first time in years. Well, maybe not in the first... Well, maybe suspicious... Specifically, childlike glee. Regular glee is something I, I've uh, had happen to me many times. Great work, stranger. A lot of folks in Onokoro will be glad you found a way to the light stones. Neato, guys. Bang up job, gotta say. Oh, and this stuff just happened to dry. Oh, that's good. So, back here. Oh, that's a lava pump. It pumps lava, I see. So, um... I'm starting to remember and recognize more Matoran, uh... Letters. Like, the letter for t like T does look like T. The English T. The English letter T, not like breakfast T. But I can usually tell that, um... I'm looking for I'm looking for that elevator again. This is the Oh, it's different now. Hello? Okay, this is the same. But less more people are happy. Oh, as I'm solving the problems, more people are happy. Yeah, yeah I'm seeing it. Can I shine this? I can! Neat. So let's go this way. I don't know what this way is. 
Matoran at work. Does this just lead back? It does. Dang, I'm lost. Okay, I don't think I'm lost. I think this must say Great Mine, because that's a T. And then this, you can see how this could be a G. And I know that there is a Great Mine. I think only, um, you can see how this is an R. And if this is an E, because this is great, then this would be an E. And this, that's a pretty obvious I. You can see how this could be an N. Also, from context clues, it's a big mine. They, you know, they might want to call it the Great Mine. It's a whole thing, you know? You brought word from Munua? Did you figure out how to get through it? I'm working on that, actually. Uh, BRB. Oh my gosh! That's so cool! So after you free the light stones, you can see the whole of the mine. That's so cool. Oh, man. They put in work to this thing. Like, why is this so cool? It's because they put in the work, man. Broken pick. Oops. Huh. So if this is... 12? This would be 4? Whoa. This is... Looks like you had the right idea, stranger. Disc was a passage to the rock after all. Tahu. Huh. <laughs> well, this isn't how I remember it. Because normally in canon, in the books, all the, all the Toa put their masks... There's a big, huge suva in the middle of, um, in the middle of the thing, in the middle of the island. I mean, uh, it, it loads too quickly for you to see it. And like, what a strange and privileged time we live in where I'm like, ah, oh, sorry, this PC game loads too fast, you guys. But at the middle of that big mountain, there's a huge shrine. Um, and in the books, they put all of their shrines there. And it becomes, they put all their masks at that shrine, and then it becomes uh, a golden mask. It swaps out golden masks, actually. Um, I think in the commercials, they showed them doing something different for it. I think they just put it at, put a, a I remember Tahu putting a mask into like a stone cut out in a wall. Hey, you're busy enough that I can talk to you. Or not busy. Thank you, Adventure, for helping with so many of Onukoru's problems. I thought the Guildmasters would never leave me alone. Can I have some peace? Would you ask anything you would ask of me? I'm Onua, Taraga of Onukoru. It's my job to keep things running smooth. A hard task in these difficult times. Onukoru is the wonder city under Mata Nui. Under city of Mata Nui. Matoran come from near and far to trade in our great market and marvel at the work of our engineers. Stone dug from our quarries fused the creation of the Pokoran and Carvers. Protodermis, the stuff of life, is brought from deposits within the earth and traded among the Tonga. Matoran, dang. We also mine light stones and many other precious resources. Anu is the Toa of our village. He's a great hero engaged on a quest to find the masks of power, which he will need to defeat the Makuta. Good luck in your travels. May Anu protect you. Again, a little, a little deification. Normally, this, like, shrine thing would have Onua's mask here, but it appears to have your mask. It appears to have that mask, which is the mask of a uh, night vision. As another difference between Toraga and Toa, um, Toa use things called great masks. Matoran use regular masks. 
and Turaga use noble masks. Great masks have a lot of power, noble masks have slightly less, and the normal masks have no power. Great masks can be won only by Toa, uh, noble masks can be worn by Toa and Turaga, and noble masks can be worn by everyone and just make it so you don't like lose power. All right, I just checked the guide. I missed a thing. Uh, I keep turning around. Dang. Or no, wait, I have done this. All right, I'm going, I'm, I know where I'm going next, okay. Sorry, just a little live walkthrough checking. Uh, I use walkthroughs a lot on my channel, if you're not familiar with it. I use them a lot just because uh, they're helpful to make sure that I can get through LPs in a reasonable time. Uh, but we have visited Pokoro, Onukoro, Takoro, Gakoro, uh, and the unaligned beach, I guess. Um, which leaves only two locations. Kokoro, which is the land of ice, not to be confused with Kokoro, which is the Japanese word for heart, and Likoro, the land of air. Um, or the village of air. Koro is village. Uh, and then after that, there's the final area, because of course there must be. Uh, but yeah. Uh, oh, I'm excited. I'm really excited. I'm, I'm playing this game again, this dang old game again. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Um, I've been Alfred. Everyone have a good day. Uh, thank you and goodbye.